it's always an honor for me to sit with uh, my Montreal uh, friend, Isavier Dolan. We're so proud of him in Montreal, and obviously the rest of Canada is as well. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do to kind of just get you focused? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> first thing is this espresso. <laughs> Then. There you go. <laughs> How does it feel being here with this film at TIFF? It's it's actually a pleasure to get back into the the, the, the mood and the atmosphere of this film and to talk about it and, 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 and actually see the cast again, whom I've missed. What is it about um, the drama and the challenges and the tragedy that go along with that experience that make you so good as a filmmaker? The way I want to look at the world is, is, is through the, mm -hmm. the flaws of human beings and what makes us... Uh, um, I think also that's what relatable, we, yeah. we, people relate to these sure. flaws and they're like, oh, well, that's me. When I read Jean-Luc Lagasse's play, I mean, the characters were, to me, were extremely attractive because it was, the, the characters were so flawed and they were, they were human beings. The words don't really matter in this, in this film. There are so many words and I guess they all matter, but what I'm trying to say is all these people are, are just talking and talking and talking and talking. What really matters, and, and that became obvious, is is what's happening here and who's looking at who talking and who's breathing when and at which time and who's not talking while the other is talking. It's incredible that someone will spend so much time writing and structuring a vernacular to finally say in the end, all that was said is basically useless. The essential has been muted. And the essential is, you know, all these people are talking to basically say, I love you. And that's what they just can't say. I remember the first time I received the script, Xavier uh, sent it with a nice handwritten note uh, talking about how little I had to say, mm -hmm. but before talking, there is silence, reflection, uh, introspection. It was more about reacting to what the other says. For me, cinema is about emotions. You, you go for an emotion very deep and... and uh, and it's like a trance almost. What was amazing with all actors in this film is their capacity to listen. They live and react. They're not waiting for their lines, you know. It's not about my performance. It's about our performance as a group. To work with Xavier is, um, it's, um, it's just um, incredible. Xavier is, um, I said, he's like an ovni, you know. He does. Everything. He, he, he writes the script, he writes the dialogues. He's a fantastic director for actors. I was very excited when uh, I met Xavier for the first time because I'm a huge fan of his work. And um, for me, he's a real artist. He's more than a direct, you know, just a, a director. I'm, I'm red. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go first? Is this I'm my in smoke love. break? <laughs> you know, I think his cinema is, uh, is a reflection of what he really is. He is true to himself, true to his vision, and constantly challenging himself and pushing the limits, pushing himself out of his comfort zone. And this is what I really admire in his, in his work. The aspiration I think a lot of directors have is, is that you and the actor are going somewhere else, not somewhere we've already been. Thank you very much for attending the Nespresso Coffee and Conference with Xavier and the entire cast of It's Only the End of the World. Thank you. Thank you.